What is going on guys, Joel21 here and welcome to the first video in this Real Madrid series. So first of all, we're actually going to begin with doing the pro player development. Uh, now with this series, um, I want to look to get the best team possible, you know. I've been doing um, online seasons with Real Madrid. I haven't lost in about 25 games with them, it's ridiculous. And I've just learned to play with them perfectly, I know what all the players can do. And it just seems to work perfectly, so definitely going to look to stick with the team that we've already got now. There is one sign anywhere I would like to make, but I'm not going to make that signing just yet. Um, well, actually, after seeing the youngsters, I'm not that impressed. Apart from this youngster, 16-year-old older guard there. Ridiculous youngster. Only 16. The kid is an absolute wonder kid. Unbelievable player, although right now he's not looking to... There we go. Chance creation. Come on, old guard. Impress, man. Impress. Impress. Okay, well, they didn't impress at all. There we go. So, that's a bloody shit start right there. So, as you can see, now we've got Lazio first game of the season in the preseason tournament. So, fingers crossed we can go ahead and win this. I think I went in to um, sign the um, the low, uh, the contract to the low um, preseason tournament in regards to the money. Because, to be honest with you, I'm not Real Madrid. Don't really need to give a shit about money. But, anyway, it was an absolute fabulous first game of the season, though. The first game of the tournament against Lazio. Cruz scored, his score scored, and Fernandez came off the bench and bagged two. That is not that bad at all. Um, but what we're going to do now is actually we're going to look to sell some players. Well, we're not going to sell them, we're going to put them out on loan. Because there is a lot of very, very good players at Real Madrid. Um, in regards to the youth, that could do with a lot of loan experience. Because technically, they're not. to me, they're not going to get in the squad because this squad is ridiculous on its own. Uh, so he came on and actually scored two, Fernandez. I didn't realise he was a centre-half, which isn't too bad. So he can go out on loan. Now, I want Odegaard to go out on a two-year loan, so obviously I can then get him back and it's not a problem. Um, oh, God. Uh, remove from loan list. Add to a two-year. There we go. So that's 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 that done. Uh, I'm going to release him because he's 21, 64. I don't really see him doing quite well. He can get released as well. I'm not quite fond of him. He can go on a one-year loan list. Fernandez, two-year left winger, six foot one. Big fellow in, big fella. So you can go on a two-year as well. Obviously, as you can see now, I'm going to be more or less... Left with not many youth players, but it's not really something mega to worry about because I am looking to bring in some signings. So, this short loan, mm, yeah, no, okay, one year loan. There we go, took my time that. And Lazo, you can jump out on a two year loan. There we go. So, there's plenty of players out there now on the loan list for people to dig their hands into. Uh, let me have a look into Odegaard. Let's see now if we can actually improve him just before he does go out alone. I'll be very surprised if nobody does come in for him. I'll be very shocked because it's a bit of a problem because then I have to play him as well. Uh, playing Odegaard kind of poses a problem because with all the players being so experienced and, and very good, in a sense when he plays it kind of slows the game down, you know, um, because all these players are that good. It's very, very quick, pacey football. So we'll simulate all of them there. Hopefully... He's improved. He has he's improved on his attacking, positioning, finishing, and also shot power, which is brilliant. Um, so let me uh, go off this one now. So same that. Now we're gonna. I think we're playing a team from China now. I'm not too sure. Not 110 percent sure. Oh, a bid for Karim Benzema, 38 million pounds. He can definitely go. Uh, that's a that's an offer that I do have to accept. For the simple fact is, I won't even be playing him. I play Ronaldo up front. Yeah, he's a good substitution. Uh, so, but I want someone young. Um, in the high 70s, uh, young 20s, uh, to come on off the bench to do that. And I've got the perfect signing to do that. Definitely got the perfect signing. So against so on now, we drew to all. Ronaldo and Cruz getting goals. High guard on your Yom Ki Hun scoring for them. Um, I do apologise if I pronounced that wrong. I probably did, to be honest with you. But um, not very good with um, Asian names. So let me have a look. Another transfer offer there. James Rodriguez. Reject all offers immediately. He's not going anywhere. With out of doubt, he's moving absolutely nowhere because he's too good. He's too good to move. Fingers crossed, he can do very well in the league. I hope so. Because if not, it's a bit of a disaster. Kalor Navas, 17 million again. Kalor Navas, that's that's it's not bad at all, is it? I mean, he's worth 12 and a half million. He's 28 82 overall, and he can easily be replaced. I'm actually going to go and let him go there. As you can see now, we've got 163 million pounds to spend. Karim Benzema's gone now for 38 million, way more than what he's valued at, so I'm very happy with that. We've got Fenerbahce now, second in the league. We do need to win Fenerbahce now to finish at the top as they won Suwon and also Lazio. 
And it's a nice, easy 3 0 win there. Goals from Jesse, the left winger, and also Cristiano Ronaldo, our striker, with two goals up the top there. And in the final, it looks as though we've got Bayern Munich. We've got one striker now who can actually, who's actually well on our training development list, that being May, Mayoral. So we've got Sharpshooter, yes, we'll throw you in there, midfielders. Is there anyone in there? No, centre halves, yes, yeah, so we'll throw in Varane there. We're doing the yellow rondo. Young Golder guard. There we go. If he can keep possession now, he can improve on his ball control. It depends upon, obviously, how well he does in this training exercise. Does he do it? He doesn't do it, unfortunately. He does improve, though. But Mariel's uh, volleys have absolutely mega improved there. Gone up about, by about two, I think that were. And also, his finishing has gone up. I mean, 78 finishing for an 18-year-old is definitely something. I mean, he could always be our sub-striker. Uh, that's a definite, really. So, last game of the season now. We have got Bayern Munich, sorry, well, last game in this pre-season tournament, should I say. Isco again, another player that is going absolutely nowhere because he is ridiculously good. Most people, when I've played against them online, when they've been Madrid, nobody seems to play Isco. Obviously, they go with James Rodriguez in the middle, Ronaldo on the right, and Benzema um, up front. But I tell you what, he's a ridiculously good player. Once you play through the middle, his dribbling ability, his passing, and his shooting is ridiculous. Probably, to me, the best shooter, um, the best... Um, player that does have the uh, sorry the best player on this team is definitely Cristiano uh, Cristiano Ronaldo but I feel as though Modric does have a better shot than him um, I don't know why I just seem to get more lucky with shooting with Modric than I do with Ronaldo but Ronaldo does tend to get hat tricks in games fabulous there we go went in nil nil um, and then we went into penalties and won 5-4 which is brilliant so we actually went on then to win that tournament Boom, that's a brilliant pre-season start. Oh, no, it's not. Sorry, that was the semi-finals. I thought that was the final. I simply assumed that was the final because Bayern Munich was in there. Okay, Carvajal again. Reject all offers immediately. Still only 23 years of age, 82 overall. The guy is an absolute tank without fail. So let me have a look into this now. We are going to go up against Benfica in the final. I do have a shitty feeling here now that we'll lose. They did lose to Bayern. They won Everton and they also won Fanny Bacci. We won 2-1. Ronaldo and Jesse getting goals there. And Carcila Gonzalez getting the goal for Benfica. So yeah, we have been successful in that tournament. What we're going to do is we're just going to do a bit of development again um, on the youngster Odegaard. There we go. I don't see that being a problem. I think he may improve on at least something. If he's keen enough in this game, we'll do the free balls there. And then we'll throw Marial up there doing the headers and volleys again. And then we'll throw in the dribbling course for him as well. Um, is there any other youngsters that we can throw in there? Yeah, we'll throw in uh, Varane again. Obviously, it's going to take time to improve on Varane because he's already such a high overall at such a young age. There we go. Volleys have gone up on Marial. And he's dribbling, ball control and stamina. I'm not actually going to loan out Marial because I feel as though he's going to improve dramatically so guys thank you for watching this video we have gone over the pre-season pre-season fixtures um and we obviously have sold the uh, players like uh, benzema benzema and also kaylor navas um benzema went to manchester city and kaylor navas did make way to if i'm correct everton let's have a look into that though just to make sure just so i don't obviously get that wrong in the future uh unsuccessful successful Yes, to Everton. There we go. So there we go, guys. Thank you for watching. If you do want to see more videos, next video is going to be doing the transfers. Uh, we're going to go over the transfers, and then after that, we're going to go in to the games, doing highlights and so on. So, guys, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much. It would be highly appreciated. Take care, guys.